Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face get ready with me while I test out the brand new Wayne Goss Edit collection of brushes. These were sent to me from Wayne and Beautylish, so a huge thank you to them. They're always so kind to me and I'm always eternally grateful. I just, I love them both. This set right here will be available tomorrow. There's seven brushes. They are all natural hair and they retail for $225. I'm going to be doing a whole look. I'm going to use only these brushes and I have a few comparisons to show you guys but mainly I just want to focus on these and how they apply the products. I'll leave all the information in my description box as well as a link to Wayne's video where he talks about each of these brushes and their intended purposes. But I'll go ahead and tell you these are multi-purpose. Like I was able to go back and forth from creams to powders back to creams. It's just like Amazing, absolutely amazing. There was a lot of work put into these. The seven brushes include number one, which you can use for powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, whatever you like. And then there's the number two. This one I use today for my foundation. You can use it for blush, contouring, anything. And then brush number three, again, multi-purpose, powder, highlight, whatever you like. And then the last four, four, five, six, and seven, you can use those for highlighting, concealer, and the eyes. There's so many things that you can do with these brushes. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and get into how I created this look and which brushes I use to do what, as well as showing you guys the comparisons. I'm going to be going in with brush number two to put on my Fenty Skin Tint. Now I didn't have a brush that had like this domed kind of feel to it other than this one, <laughs> but they're two completely different sizes. And I know this one will fluff up a little bit more as I use it, but it's still not going to be as big as the Master Face from Sonia G. But I just wanted to show you a side by side of that. Um, this is so soft. This is so soft. I can't wait to see how it applies my Fenty Skin Tint. I'm just going to take and kind of paint it on first. It feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel scratchy or anything. That's one of my pet peeves. If something feels kind of like itchy, scratchy on my skin, I cannot stand it. I feel like this is applying the foundation really well. And for me, not a lot of brushes apply this foundation well. <laughs> I talked to you guys about that. I've been using the mini base from Sonia G. Let me show you that one. Here's the mini base in comparison. So you can see it's definitely a lot smaller, but this is what I've been using to put on this foundation for the most part. I can use a couple other ones, but that one just puts on this foundation so well. And this is like a bigger version of that. <laughs> and I like the way it is applying. It feels good, it feels really good. I'm gonna stamp into my pores. I feel like I could use this brush for concealer as well because it's not too big, I could literally get in just like that and stamp out my concealer. However, I'm going to use a different brush to do that just so that I make sure I use all of the brushes today. I'm gonna to add on a little bit of my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. And I'm gonna use brush number five to blend and stamp this out. Oh, it's so good. Very easy. And I don't use as much concealer whenever I use a brush. So I feel like the sponge kind of picks up a little bit, but the brush, I can just press it into my skin. This is another one that I definitely did not have in my collection, something that's similar to it. I really like all the shapes of these brushes. I love that they're not just like repetitive. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> to set my under eyes, I'm going in with brush number three and my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. And this brush definitely reminded me of the Medium Artist brush. 
So let me show you that one really quickly. I think this one's just a little bit bigger in turn, like you can see it's just slightly bigger. But how long are the, the brush length seems to be the same, but this is def these are definitely similar. I love that the tip just gets right up in this corner where I need it. I'm taking a little bit of the lightest color and I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner and stamp it in. Next, I'm going to go in with the number one to go and set the rest of my face. This one reminds me of the large artist brush. So I'm going to put these side by side. And I think this one has just a little bit more of a taper to it, but again, I will be washing these and they will fluff up a little bit more. And then here is the, I think it's the holiday brush, the zero zero. You could tell that this one is definitely bigger than the number one from this collection. And I'm using Jaclyn's pressed powder to set my face. I really have been loving these powders. Like it sets and it makes everything look so beautiful. It's not overly matte. Like when I touch my skin, you, I know that it's set, but it still feels like skin. These are so beautiful. I love the powders and I'm really liking the brushes so far, which not really a surprise to me. <laughs> I've always loved Wayne Goss's brushes. I'm using the same brush, and this time I'm going to dip into the bronzer. This is the Satin Bronze from Wayne Goss. I love this bronzer. It's just so glowy and natural. I love the color, everything. I have to be a little bit more careful with this brush when I use it, though, because it's, it's a little bit more dense. I've been using a brush that is not as dense as this. So I've got to be careful, but you can see it just blends out like a dream. I love it. I love the glowy. I love everything. I'm using the number five to contour my nose. Again, all I did was just wipe off the excess. This is the one I used for the concealer. So I could go ahead and use it for my bronze on my nose. Let me go in with this brush that had the powder on it and diffuse. This had the powder I used for underneath my eyes. I thought I was going to use a cream blush, but I'm going to go in with Coral Rose. Don't, don't, don't get mad. I'm sorry. I know it's not available right now, but he did restock once. I hope he restocks again here soon. I think I want to put my highlighter on first though. So I'm going to take this brush, number four, which reminds me of the artist small brush so you can see those side by side and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the highlight and a little bit I really really mean like a tiny little bit <laughs> and work it into my skin and then I'll put the highlight not the highlight the blush on the blush ba -la -la -la. put it on my nose the tiniest little bit of this goes so far. <laughs> now I'm going in with the blush. By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I'm going back in with a number three to blur out my pores and soften up the nose just a little bit more. I'm going to spray my face really quickly with the Dominique Cosmetics Ultra Fine Hydrating Mist. And then I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Whoop. Moving on to the eyes, I went ahead and I cleaned off my number five on the Sonia G towel. And I'm gonna go back in with the Satin Bronze Palette, grabbing the bronzer. And I am just very easily going to put this in the crease. Ooh, this, this feels nice in the crease, like really nice. I am really impressed so far. I really truly am. I love that these are all different shapes and how many different ways you can use them. I went ahead and ordered <laughs> a, excuse me, I went ahead and ordered a whole new set, another set anyway. This obviously was sent to me because I love 
the way that these work and the way that they function. And I don't have a lot of these styles of brushes in my collection. I can already tell you this is going to be one of my favorite brushes. <laughs> I love, I use this for the concealer and for my eye. It's so good. This is the number six. It is so cute. It's like a mini, mini of the smaller artist brush. Like it's teeny tiny. It has a lot of flexibility to it. The closest thing I would have is this refer brush. This is the number 26, but this one is more dense and I use it for like a pencil brush. This one you can actually get blending in. So if you have smaller eyes, hooded eyes, this is going to be amazing for you because it just like literally goes right into the socket of my eye. Ah, oh, this is, I don't have anything that is quite, wait, I mean, hold on. I just remembered this brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. This is the small crease and it's not as long and it's not as fluffy. This one again is still a little bit more dense, like the pencil brush. I can use that one all the time for my lower lash line. This is gonna work for your lower lash line, but also for more definition in the crease. So I'm gonna take this on to the contour side, and I am gonna place that right on the outer corner and right into my socket with absolute ease. And it doesn't itch either. I hate itchy brushes. <laughs> I'm cleaning off this brush again on my Sonia G towel and I'm going to use the highlight from the blush palette. So I'm going to just dip in there and then hi ooh, so good. Highlight the brow arch. I'm also going to take a little bit of that on my inner corner. And again, wiping off that brush, I want to take just a little bit of the blush and I'm going to put just a hint of that right on this outer portion of my eye. You guys, I'm so sorry about my voice ever since the accident. Like it's, it gets better. You know, when I start off the video, it's, it's really good and then it, it can get tired, I guess. Like I said, the airbag debris is, I believe that's what it is. And now going in with the final brush. This is the number seven. I'm gonna go back into satin bronze, grabbing the contour shade. I love these brushes. I love them, I love them, I love them. Oh, this feels so good underneath. There's one spot that I absolutely cannot tolerate, a itchy and itchy brush. It's on the lower lash line. I hate that. This is so nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my mascara and do a lip and then I'll come back with my thoughts. Though I feel like you guys probably know. All right guys, that is it. This is the finished look, just a really simple makeup look, but these brushes made it so easy and I love how versatile they are. I love the handles on them. They remind me of the artists, <laughs> these right here, they have like the same shape, but these are wood. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I don't have a way of knowing that quite yet. I only have the information of the date it's releasing as well as the price. So I, I don't know exactly what this is, but they are reminiscent of those brushes. I love that I can do my entire face with this collection. If you have just this, you don't really need anything else. So if you're looking for a brush collection that will give you everything all in one without, you know, sometimes there's those brush collections that will have like three brushes you're not gonna use. You're like, oh, I'm not gonna use that one for my brows. I don't need another spoolie brush, it, that type of thing. Nothing like that in this collection. It's beautiful, they are soft, they are workhorses, and I absolutely love them. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me, checking out these brushes. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.